Good morning, everyone. I'm Mark Zola from the Cornerstone Bistro in Tradition Square. This morning, we're going to be making the seafood strudel for your enjoyment. So don't change that dial. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Cornerstone Bistro. We're going to show you some ingredients right now uh, for the seafood strudel and how we put it together. The main ingredients for this dish are lobster, shrimp, and scallops. They're all sauteed together with a, a creamy leek sauce, which has a little bit of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese in it. Uh, you can get all these ingredients at your local Publix. Um, the next main ingredient is phyllo dough, which is that real paper-thin pastry that uh, most commonly used for baklava. So let's get started by uh, heating up our saute pans. While we're waiting for this uh, saute pan to heat up, we want to season these items. And the only seasoning we're going to utilize right now is just a little bit of salt and pepper, just to bring out the natural juices in the seafood. When we do this, the flavors will, will come out as we cook. And we want to hear that, that sizzle. That sizzle means that we did the right thing. We let the oil get hot enough to sear in the natural juices so they don't escape. When they escape, you lose all your flavor. We don't want to do that. As we're sauteing these items, the seafood, the shrimp, the scallops, and the lobster, we're going to add some leeks. And leeks, we want to have a nice little crunch to them. What we're going to do now is as these shrimps and scallops and pieces of lobster cook up, we're going to deglaze the pan. What deglazing is, is it's bringing all those natural brown glazing items into the sauce. When we do that, we're going to break up our cream cheese and add that to our seafood. The next thing we're going to do is add our it's a, it's a bechamel, basically, and a bechamel is a white sauce that was thickened with a roux, and a roux is, uh, as we all know, uh, butter and flour. And this is uh, coming together quite nicely. And all we want to do now is just make sure that that cream cheese is melted enough so it's not in a large clump. Filo dough is a uh, very difficult product to work with, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. And we usually do about five, five layers of the phyllo dough. And we're just going to take the mixture. And as you can tell, it's settled a little bit. And that's perfect. What that does is it takes all the moisture out. And we're going to put all the seafood right inside. And then we're going to roll it up. And the rolling process is just, just like this, very carefully. Tuck it in a little bit and roll. Roll again. Turn it. Butter the edge. So it attaches to the main part of the strudel and the two ends and we're going to put it in a 425 degree preheated oven and it's going to be about uh, 10 to 12 minutes flip it over put it on a baking sheet and then just butter the top just to get that nice golden color when you bake it in the oven and that's how we prepare the, the uh, seafood strudel here at the Cornerstone Bistro in Tradition Square. Thank you for watching.